Breaking news, 15 years in the making, a German man has been named as an official suspect in the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Tell us how you discovered that Madeleine had gone. Um, as I think people are aware, um, we were checking regularly on the children. The first thing I'm seeing is the dad taking that heavy sigh as soon as he asked that question. And I think what we're seeing there is it's almost like, okay, here we go. He's done it quite a few times at this point. We're three weeks in after, the, after she's been missing. After three weeks, you may think someone says, hey, I'm emotional or I'm emotionless. It's not emotionless. There is no ability to have emotion after three weeks of what you go through. For them not to be what you think of as an emotional person during this is not abnormal. It's like being an empty glass at that point. It is a major development in the Madeleine McCann case. Portuguese police have taken the step of naming one man as a suspect. It was during my one of my checks that I discovered she'd gone. I, mean, I can't really go into any details about that, but I'm sure any parent will realise how that felt. Her voice is quiet. It's almost brittle as she goes along. We're seeing profound and overwhelming guilt and sadness. Watch that stillness very quiet, very still. This is not something I would expect from people under stress around answering these questions. So there's a great stillness to them, a great reserve to them. I think, I think at worst we were naive. Um, I mean, we're very responsible parents. We love our children very much. And I don't think any parent could ever imagine or consider anything like this happening. When she says the word naive, there is a tiny uh, myotoclastoid muscle right here movement where she shows a tiny micro expression of fear, which I think is indicative of truthful behavior because she is terrified to admit this on camera. They're doctors. They've probably prided themselves on their reputation. It's a horrible situation. There's nothing good for these people. You can see they're just done. There's nothing left. If you were to ask them how they felt at that time, I'd tell you they would say empty. There's nothing left. They've cried enough, they've been angry with each other, all that kind of stuff. Now their emotions are gone, they're just there. If you notice, there's no attempt to sell, nothing. There's not even the attempt to look ashamed for you. The shame they're showing is for them. They really do feel ashamed. They're not covering their throat because they've done something wrong. Here's Christian Bruckner, and he's already in jail. In 2007, he was charged and found guilty over the rape of a 72-year-old American woman in the same part of the Portuguese coastline as when Madeleine McCann disappeared. If you liked this video, please head over to watch the full video